Hello everybody, on oh, this is Coding Made Easy on your third tutorial. So in this tutorial you're going to be learning about um, displaying graphics on the screen. Um, um, 2D graphics, obviously not 3D, because these are beginner tutorials. So this is the code from last time. Let me zoom in here, so let me get rid of all this stuff. You can leave this sprite batch dot begin. Um and all the initialized stuff you can get rid of that. And the loading the content you can get rid of that. And you can get rid of all this. Okay. So as when I'm gonna start my tutorial, you're gonna need the graphics for loading graphics you will need the content for using the content pipeline and you will also need the framework for like vector tools and stuff like that for the position so um just so we can use um declare a sprite font for fonts there's also a declaration for sprites and that is texture 2d for 2d sprites and that's all we we will be working with so texture 2d and um let's see a texture name or uh, let's say my image and we're gonna be making another vector 2 in storing its position and that's it so for the vector 2 position um in the initialize section I'm gonna put position is equal to new vector 2 100 by 100 okay but as you notice we don't have any um before i even load the graphics we don't have a graphic to load yet so um right now we're just gonna add a new folder we're gonna put sprites i guess just to organize or have our organizational skills and open paint or paint.net or whatever you use i use paint.net and i just made a little area that's 10 by 10 and or maybe I'll make it bigger new I'll make it 20 by 20 and let's fill this with the color red so I'm gonna save this save as now um you can save it directly to the content pipeline if you wanted by going to where your directory is oh sorry go to your directory and right here you would see content right and you could put it in there but in order for it to work in xna um, in visual studio or visual c sharp express edition you'd have to reload the page or like close it down and open it again so um, an easier way to go about this is that I'll just put this in uh, as okay, I'll just put this on my desktop even though my desktop is so messy or whatever I'll put in pictures so let's name this bright one and it's PNG file so you could change any file format that you want um, XNA supports a uh, numerous amount I think it's supposed PNG, JPEG, um, GIF, and BMP. I think that's what it supports. Not 100% sure, so don't quote me on that. So we're saving that. So let's close paint or paint.net. So let's go to pictures. Uh, okay, so sprite one, drag it into the sprites folder and so now we have sprites1.png in our sprites folder so now it's time to load it so then if you guys remember what I was talking about last um, tutorial then we were gonna go about it the exact same way so my image equals content dot load but then instead of putting sprite font, 
we're going to put texture 2d because we're loading a texture 2d image and we just have to put the directory so sprites sprite 1 and that's it that should work so let's go to the draw method so instead of putting draw string we're going to use a new function called sprite batch dot draw and as you see it has seven overloads but we're only going to be using the first one or actually we're going to use the second one the first one is with a rectangle destination and destination rectangle and um, this is for the position I'll, you'll learn about rectangles later but basically a texture 2d image is uh, my image uh, position is our position and for the color basically for you to um to have it the neutral color that you want it to be you should put color dot white if you put any other color then it will tint your sp your sprite or tint your image to that color and right now we don't want that but i'll show you the effects of it after so we run the program you see our red box in the middle of the screen amazing so let's see if we put color dot turquoise see kind of changes color it tints it to a different color so we don't really want that and with a bigger image you'll see it more but yeah we don't want that so basically that's how you draw um, an image to the screen and as you as before you can declare that runtime you could put new vector to 200 by 200 and color white and same thing it will draw it to the screen so that's it for I'm um, displaying graphics um hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I'll show you about rectangles and stuff in the next tutorial so thanks for watching this and bye